Uh, the video here is a call for an uprising, who is a weirdo and a conspiracy theorist. Uh, and this this video is him talking about Squid Game. If you haven't seen Squid Game, I can't imagine he's seen it either. Uh, so there won't be spoilers for it. I won't spoil it for you. Um, but uh, Squid Game is good. And I think everyone here would like it tremendously. Um, it's actually a really good show if you haven't seen it. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to... Every time call for an uprising starts and he says, this is... I immediately start filling in, uh, this is the story of a girl. You know, every time. 100% of the time. Haven't finished it yet? Well, you don't need to. You don't need to know. Today's show, it ties in yes, perfectly really. with what is... The uh, lead singer of Smash Mouth quit the band because he's trash, I guess. Like he, he's going just, on in the world and with what I'm talking about, and that's how all this works all the time. not so subtle message about the capitalism. T- True. B show, Netflix show, same difference. Squid Game. Now, some of you may have heard of it. Most of you probably have, whether you have a TV or Netflix or not, because it's being yeah. pumped through the mainstream media. And whenever a show or a movie is pushed mm-hmm. beyond belief, it's not about making money. It's not about success. It's in about... Getting people to go and watch it because there's an agenda behind it. That's what those Purge movies, I mean, most of these things, right? Civil War movies as far as superheroes and, of course, the superhero movies in general, which is going to lead to transhumanism. (laughs) What? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot that Call said stuff like that. I forgot. So, uh, you know how when you watch uh, Marvel movies, you were like, damn, I can't wait till I get my super soldier serum. True. But Squid Game, tying in perfect, perfectly with the destruction of capitalism, because that's what the show is about, the destruction of capitalism. I will show you some of the things involved with this show. Yeah. If you don't understand that Squid Game is anti-capitalist, like, I'd be very surprised by to, to, to learn that. That you just didn't... Like, do some of you guys watch movies and in, in, in not understand what they're saying? Because I think that's interesting. Now, he looks for it in everything, which is not usually correct. But Squid Game is actually anti-capitalist. Anti, uh, 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 so, so good job. He figured it out. Um, <laughs> in fact, uh, without spoiling anything, there's an early premise um, uh, that's basically like as soon as the game starts and uh, there's, you know, Watch the show. It's really good. But when the game starts, there's like three rules. Um, and and the rules are... Uh, uh, what are the... Hold on. I, I want to make sure I get... The, squid Game Rules. There's three rules. What are they? Uh, what are the game? No, no, not the games. No. Nope. What are the rules? What are the rules? What's the fucking rules? Not how to play the games. Squid Game rule three rules. I don't know. Images? Does anyone remember? Specifically th- why can't I wait, why is that not here? Why can't you Google it? It starts off with a very simple premise. Anyway, um do not talk. Once you start the game, you can't you can't uh uh stop the game. Um uh 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 Everyone has to play I think it's everyone has to play um, once the game, once, uh, you can't stop the game once it starts. Uh, and then third rule is if everybody just chooses not to play the game, the game ends. I mean, yeah. If you die in the game, you die in real life. Oh, oh, if you don't follow the rules, you're eliminated. Something like that. I don't know. But, uh, uh, basically it's just, it's, it's, it's capitalism. It just has to be more than half. It just has to be 51%. Uh, just the majority. Yeah. If people vote we don't have to do this thing anymore uh and yet they still do it now the rub in in squid game it's a little bit different than than straight up capitalism is because if they end the game they go back to capitalism so there's a little bit more incentive for them to play and so it moves the story forward but um in general it's just capitalism it's super fun uh Rule four, have fun. True. Now with no, the you don't show get corn. Every- you guys don't get corn. I almost did this. You've not earned that. We're going here. Now. 
could get there with a hype train, but that's not where we're at right now. Everyone's talking about it. it's called Squid Game. It's a violent thriller from South Korea, and it's centered on a survival game. Juju Chang is here with more on this. Good morning to you, Juju. Good morning to you, Amy. It is a phenomenon. Squid Game has a rare 100% critics rating on Rotten Tomatoes, and it's number one in 90 countries. The Korean language drama is so hyper violent, though we can't even show you much of it. But that hasn't slowed down the millions of fans. Are we, are we just watching this G, this like Good Morning America clip? Because I'm going to stop now. I'm going to skip from the Good Morning America clip because uh, they're just going to talk about the Squid Game. Uh, wow, holy shit. Most of – so at least like three minutes of this video are just him ripping off this Good Morning America thing? Okay, cool. Um, so that's not cool. You can't do that on YouTube, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, very, very lazy. <laughs> and Thank you, Juju. Now, again, shows only become popular. Uh-huh. Not organically. Nothing is allowed to become popular organically without, huh. without their control. If Without their control. Has this dude ever read, like, a popular book? Like, word of mouth happens all the time. I don't, I don't, this is just really weird. <laughs> it's such a... I, I don't understand why he has to have the conspiracy theory that things can't rise to prominence b because people like it. Because it was actually really good. So if nothing is allowed, then why bother hiding it? Exactly. It doesn't make any sense. There's no reason. There's no reason to have a conspiracy about this if we don't choose anything anyway, right? Because then just fuck it, right? Who gives a shit? If they do, they shut them down. If that's do, what ends up happening. Down. Look, what did they shut down? Tiger King? What was the political messaging behind Tar Tiger King? Did he? Wait, wait. If I if I go to call of an uprising. Or call for an uprising. Uh, is he going to... If I type in Tiger if King... You... Stop it. Tiger King? Does that have, like, stuff going on? There's nothing about Tiger King. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. No, poli no political uh, Tiger King things to say? Could be one, one of his other, other channels, I suppose. I'm not going to toot my own horn and say, well, I became really popular. Is this guy okay? No. Call for an uprising is not okay. On YouTube, because I did, and they shut me down. A lot of other truthers did. A lot of people have in other forms of life and other walks of life. When it comes to what? the media, and it comes to these shows, they want total control. This is a show, a Korean show, uh -huh. that has become the most popular show, or about to become the most popular show on Netflix. Nobody in America would ever watch this. Ever. What? Do, do y'all not watch Korean TV sometimes? Is that a thing? Best, I, I mean, check out like Train to Busan or uh, or uh, uh, any anything like Parasite is a really great example. Like, conservatives cannot critically analyze media. My dad ironically thinks uh, the Starship Troopers uh, uh, movie world would be a good one to live in. Huh, that's interesting. Uh, Thoric, can I talk to your dad's chat? Chat, will you bring me your dad's so I can talk to them and understand why they're so fucking dumb? That'd be awesome. Can I just have a bring your dad to school day? Is that okay? Nope, he's fucking dead. Hell yeah. I have to find him first. Zon, like, thanks for the 14 months. Good call. Jake's my dad? Well, apparently I'm a lot of dads. Big dad things. Uh, you get along with my dad? Well, if I get along with your dad, you can still bring them. Yeah, I want to talk to your dads. I'll even, I'll even like, get dad-friendly attire and stuff. I'll get, like, a, uh... I'll wear khakis. I'll get my, um... Damn it, I got some shit on my fucking shirt. Motherfucker. I was cooking earlier. I didn't even notice I got this on me. I must have splashed when I... There we go. All taken care of. Um, Jake should do a dad stream. That's what I'm saying. I want I want to do a dad stream. I'll grow out my mustache. Like, I'll still grow the beard, but I'll grow out the mustache more, you know? Be an okay look. Maybe I should just do that in general. This is a bushy mustache. You guys like that shit? Anyway, let me talk to your dumb dads. If it wasn't pushed down the chowder their throat, juice, it was it first, was it was probably the, uh, it felt 
crispy, so it was probably part of the um, flour that got mixed in with it to thicken it. Starters, it's not even an American-made show. People from America don't normally watch these types of shows from Korea or from China or from the UK. They don't? Yeah, sure, of course there's some people who watch it, but for it to be the number one show... On Netflix? It just tells you something. It tells you something on Netflix? It's Netflix. What? Stuff from all over the world goes number one on Netflix. <laughs> what? <laughs> does he not have a Netflix account? He probably doesn't. Every media outlet has been talking about the show. It's the only reason I know about it is because when I do my work and my research, my research. I look for patterns. Every when I do my research. Now, by research, he does not mean watching Squid Game, which is the subject of the video. He means reading about people that watch Squid Game. <laughs> Which is strange. Every day for the last week, I've seen Squid Game, Squid Game, Squid Game. I was going to sit through it, but I thought it was a movie, and I'm not sitting through a 20-episode series. However, I... It wasn't 20 episodes. I think it was an eight? You see what I'm saying? Like, he, he doesn't watch these things. Every time... Like, what was... Uh, it's like eight hours. Yeah, seven or eight. It's like... Oh, it's nine. It's nine episodes, I think. It's nine episodes. And they're about 45 to 50 minutes each. So about eight hours. You don't have Netflix? Why not? Get Netflix. I researched it. Or Netflix. I read about it. And if you can't see that this is about the destruction of capitalism and why capitalism is bad. Uh -huh. When in reality, the real enemies, the people in the game, right? So these people, it's so funny too because it ties into like all this stuff you see with these challenges True, and these stupid games that adults play. These TikTok challenges, stuff I cover, what? right? Where people try these stupid, ridiculous things. Because we have adults who act like babies. Well, the end of capitalism ties into that too, right? The plot of this about how all of these people are in debt and how capitalism isn't fair, which makes really no sense. So, so the idea behind Squid Game's cast is that some of them are there for, I'd say, uh, 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 reasons that they earned some of them were not earned uh some of them were product of their environment but everyone entered the game voluntarily like like the whole point of it is you can choose to do this uh and they got uh like 400 and some to to do it whatever whatever dude's number is um the, it's it's showing that even under capitalism and knowing capitalism is bad the only way to get out from under capitalism is more capitalism. <laughs> like when you live that, like that, that's the point, right? That's the whole, that's the whole idea behind the show is that they're willing to risk their lives and die sooner than live through the suffering of being poor under capitalism. Like they have an opportunity to leave every episode because they can all just agree to leave at any point. But, do they? If they did, would we have a show? So, so now there are points of tension. There's a little bit of back and forth with some of that, and it's interesting. And you it definitely has earned your your viewing. It is a very good show, but uh, it has some cool twists and stuff. And the games are interesting, and it's got a lot of tension. And uh, uh, it's I mean, people that you root for are not safe, and so it's it's super fascinating. Um, it reminded me of signing my life away for the military without reading the contract. Yeah, kind of right. Or not understanding what being a soldier is like soldiering is. Because um, I think a lot of people don't understand what, what actually soldiering entails. Um, I think if you talk to somebody... Uh, I forget who it was. Um, who was it? Uh, it was it was, a, it was in a talk for... Uh, a, a talk about the, the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. Um, but uh, they're like, what is your number one thing... Uh, that you have to overcome as a soldier, um, and and people ha that hadn't been to war uh, were like, oh, the 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 violence, the fighting, the the, the worry at all times, uh, which is definitely not a minimal part of it, but not the part of it. Uh, and then soldiers responded, and the answer was almost universally boredom. Boredom was the number one problem in the military because most of the time you're not facing active combat. Um, 
and you just sit there and you got to wait and sort of the anxiety that boredom causes like oh we're bored now and then we're about to do we're about to do the 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 horrible shit which which almost exacerbates the horrible shit if that makes sense like so yeah anyway uh uh in a similar way um um when you when you just just watch this and, and analyze it, it's pretty clear like like Boredom and trauma are a bad combo, exactly, right? Because then you can dwell on that shit, which is why the boredom was was brought up by a lot of soldiers. But um, I'm sure it's different from everybody, but, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Starship Troopers, yeah. Um, can you bring a switch to the military? I'm, I don't know. Uh, <sighs> so, I guess we'll just keep going. It, I mean, it is anti-capitalist. Because capitalism is the definition of fair. Because people work hard, they try, and they use their brain to be able to succeed in this country. Huh. I actually think... Um, uh, I Thank you, Morgan. Um, I really think... <laughs> I really think it's fascinating to call capitalism fair. Um because this uh, a fair game, and I actually think Squid Game does a really good job of like because one of the rules is everyone plays on a fair uh, playing field. No one has information before anybody else, uh, uh, and everybody plays exactly the same game with exactly the same rules at all times. So it's unlike capitalism in that way. But um, Sararum, thanks for the eleven months. But but in Squid Game, sort of what they're saying there is even under incredibly fair rules like everyone plays by the same rules obviously people lose now why did they lose in a game where everything is fair right and so it's like well some people have shortcomings here or there some people don't succeed here or there and so they they die right um it's not necessarily like they don't like itemize like what's wrong with each person but like you know that's what's unfair about capitalism is that like the only way to succeed is to be exceptional and otherwise you you flounder and you suffer because it's not fair it's it's specifically it's specifically unfair on purpose like by design that's how it works you can't have winners if you have no losers <laughs> right so it's just it's just uh it's a fascinating take on capitalism what we have now is a... It wasn't the exceptional people who won. Well, it's not about that. There's also a luck. Uh, 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 there's also luck. You know what I mean? Um, but obviously, like, like as you get further on, there's people that uh, not only have luck, but have, you know, skill. And so it's, it's, it's an interesting take on that. Because not everybody who you think, like, deserves it uh, uh, gets to the end. Especially, um, there's a famous... Uh, one of the most interesting games, I think, uh, was the, the candy one. Um, uh, or the marble one. Sorry, the marble one. Um, like it was kind of just chance. You know what I mean? Like, and it was illustrating like, even though yeah, you can be skilled here, you can you can do everything right here. You kind of just didn't know. So it's 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 a it's just a luck thing, which is which is fascinating. Yeah. Uh, and I and I really think I really think everybody should watch it. Um, it's a really great breakdown. Uh, it's a great allegory for capitalism, for sure. Society that wants to sit and play video games that has been spoiled by their parents who are going to do everything they can to silence people and bring in Big Brother because they think it's all conspiracy. They think everything's a joke. Wait, they wait. Did Call just say everybody else thinks everything's a conspiracy? <laughs> That's pretty good. It convinced them. These are the people that you <coughs> see sitting playing video games people who think that their cartoon avatars are who they are, just pointless, useless people. Now, the good news about that is that the majority of these people are the same people who are willing to put anything in their body. And I mean anything, not even just magic potions. <laughs> Cummies. You know what I mean? Yeah, we it's cum. And hopefully... Yeah. You know how, like, cum? That <laughs> ends up taking care of part of the problem at some point, too, with the boost. However... The notion of capitalism existing is not going to be a notion for much longer. Now, uh -huh. in this trailer, you'll see they even hint at the powerful elites, right? They have they have the mass things I've always covered, right? 
Oh yeah, sorry. I meant come. I mean come. I meant come. I mean come. I mean, <laughs> sorry, come is what I meant. The mass, the galas, the Another rich hiding falling. themselves, and of course the you know the guy with the baphomet horns, the antlers on his head, and of course you see the FEMA camp tying right. Saw so these poor people rolled in. They're not all poor. What? Her ramble was just a FEMA camping, living. I mean, this is it's it's ironically funny. Literally, the guy right here isn't a poor person. The guy, the guy in the picture. <laughs> okay. Now, now he is he is he is facing other other uh, issues with capitalism uh, within that, but it isn't poverty. But it's obviously deliberately created and made. This is all done on purpose. And these, you know, they try to tell you with the media, oh, it's organic, and it's just a great creative idea. And uh, da Dapa, that was a weird way to spell Rayane. You know, it's a really cool show. Yeah, it's a really cool show. They pay, play games. To win money, and if you lose, you get killed. I mean, uh, you know, I I don't remember go. Hunger Games. I've seen part of it. I, pretty, I mean, I'm pretty, I've seen part of Hunger Games. I don't remember. Sure, it's a similar plot to that. But the it's, Korean dystopian horror movie <laughs> show Squid Game portrays the inequality of capitalism. That's what all the articles about the show say, and it's on track to be the most successful show. And again, they push it and they pump it because they want everyone out there to watch it. Especially the youth, because the adults aren't going to watch this crap. What? The adults? Who do you think pays for Netflix? What? You shouldn't show kids. I mean, it's a little, it's a little graphic if you want to show children. Yeah, I would say like teenagers could watch it just fine. Uh, first of all, why does Call get away with hoping his opponents die? Second of all. Wait, did he say he hoped his opponents? I don't even remember. Uh, why would Korean show have FEMA camps? I have no idea. Coom, I mean coom, I mean coom. Fuck. <laughs> they even hint at the powerful elites, right? They have they have the mass the things I've always covered, right? Oh yeah, sorry. I meant come. I mean come. I meant come. I mean come. I mean <laughs> sorry. Come is what I meant. The mass. They even hint at the powerful elites, right? They have... Stop, 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 stop. But the kids will. The 20-year-olds, the teens, they'll watch it. And they're being taught through this show that capitalism is Wait, evil. That it's... Yeah, it is. But um, why... Why? Although we could do a more ethical capitalism. I'll take a more ethical capitalism. Um, the Does he think this is Baphomet stuff? Like, is that what he was saying earlier? Because they're wearing animal masks. Um... So at at a certain point in the show, uh, you get um, introduced to uh, to call them characters is strong word. Uh, I will say this 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 part. Every Squid Game enjoyer, these were the worst actors in the show, right? Like the worst. These these guys were just fucking god awful, right? The worst fucking actors, so bad. Um, it's the only time the acting was bad in the game, uh, or in the in the show, I guess, about the game. Um, but uh, yeah, they wear animal masks, and it's 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 symbolism. Uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty easy symbolism too. I don't know, I don't even know why they think. Like I don't, I don't think anyone that was re writing Squid Game was like, ah, yeah, we're being cryptic. You know what I mean? They weren't like, ah, we're so fucking clever, dude. I'm pretty sure they were all like. Yeah, this is pretty on the nose, but it's fucking fun, right? Like, it is not deep. Oops, you don't get that. Bad, and this is what it's led to. These poor people who can't make money. In reality, they can't make money because they can't, they're so dumb, they can't do anything on their own, which is exactly what's happening in today's world. Does he think every poor person is dumb? That's actually a very interesting thing that, that Call is saying here. Every person who's poor is just dumb. Dumb. <laughs> That's fascinating. You know, a lot of people that are poor are poor while they're going to college, right? Just wild. There are people with like multiple degrees that don't have like jobs. Huh. The educated are famously not in debt. True. <laughs> it's just so weird. Like, I don't know. I 
I I want to. Do I want to say this out loud? I think I would like to have a conversation with Call, but then when I started having the conversation, I would not like to have that conversation because he's just not part of reality. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel like I might be able to get a reasonable half hour out of a two hour conversation with him, and that's like my best case scenario. A uh, new hypothesis: just calls just three Dunning Krugers in a trench coat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's a biological determinist? Okay. <laughs> Zero value in talking to call. Really? You don't say. <laughs> he was he just wants to show for it? No, he won't. He won't read it. You have three degrees, but you're dumb. I don't think you're dumb, Scott Califone. Um yeah, conversation sounds terrible. Um, King Quill, thanks so much for uh, dropping one to Morgan the Fay. Appreciate it. He would open with pure transphobia. Well, I'm not trans, so... I know that he doesn't like Hannah, but, like, what does that have to do with me? You know what I mean? Call have, like, ten fake accounts to come into this chat. This chat? I don't know that Call's ever been in here. He might have been. I don't know. Um, talking to him could prepare you for our dads. I genuinely want you to bring your dads to, to, to school. Bring your dad to school day would be super fun. Can we do that? It would be ideal. The majority of these people can't work. They don't know how to do anything. They're dependent on... Wait, is Call poor? Surprise. ...on Big Brother. This tries to betray it like, oh... You do not want my dad to come on here? No, I really do. All these big people are hoarding money, people who are successful, and... Your dad doesn't have to understand Twitch. You understand it, and you can make your dad jump into a Discord call and have a conversation with me. In reality, the only people who are hoarding money, not paying taxes, are the elites, and stealing and controlling resources. They want to kill off any other classes because they don't want anyone to be able to obtain resources or wealth. That's... Capitalism, why? What? Yeah. Yes. What? Capitalism is bad because it causes the elites to hoard resources. He goes, no! The elites are hoarding resources. We need more capitalism. What? And to do anything against them or harm them. To get everybody on an equal playing field. And it's amazing that so many people want this playing field where we all make the same amount of money. I don't want everyone to make the same amount of money. What is he pretending I believe? What is he pretending that leftists think? The same amount of money? I mean, if you're in a, if you're full-blown, like, here's, here's communism, then you sh I guess, because it would be zero, because no, money wouldn't exist. But, like, like, when we advocate for, say, health care... Do you do you think I'm looking for like income equality? Like I don't want income equality. I don't even think that's necessarily a good thing. Right? Some people deserve more compensation for being good at stuff. That's fine. I just don't think anybody deserves to die for not accomplishing these things. I think everybody irrespective of their of their skill level deserves you know, basic things. We talk about it all the time here. I hate being a broken record and also I don't hate it. Decommodify survival necessities, give health care, give education. These are pretty much the only things we need to do. That's it. You can succeed in that. You can do better than that. You can excel. That's fine. I don't mind people excelling. I have no problem with it. I don't like the idea of someone hoarding billions of dollars. I might even be willing. Hear me out. I might be willing to allow billionaires to have one billion dollars. Or nine hundred and ninety nine million dollars. I might be I might be there. But like ten billion dollars? A hundred? No. What's the point of that? That doesn't help capitalism. Why do you want that stagnating in so like a billion dollars now? Today? You know, maybe. I'm not, you know, a personal person's wealth. I mean like I'm saying like net worth, I'm fine with that. Like, liquid capital, though? <laughs> like, or like, mm, uh -uh. no, 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 <laughs> not good.
But yeah, sure. Because we're not out of capitalism yet. But as we move out of capitalism, ooh, it becomes sketchier and sketchier to allow the stagnation at the top like that. Sketchier and sketchier. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. Like just from just capitalism. If you just go, capitalism is good because everybody works hard and they get their fair share, and then you see someone who owns Amazon taking the entire share, except for a small portion of it to give to the people that actually earned the share, how is that compensation for your work equitable relative to the amount of value you've given? Like, it just doesn't make it... Capitalists should advocate for themselves. Ought they? Ought they not? If I'm a capitalist, and I'm not a capitalist, but if I am one, shouldn't I advocate for my own success under capitalism? It doesn't make any sense. Just strange. I don't agree. I don't agree that uh, UBI is the uh, answer, though. Because if you give UBI to people, all it does is, and if that's the only thing you do, if you just give everyone 2000 bucks. Everyone else is just going to try to take that money from because capitalism, right? So, it just doesn't make any sense. So, especially you be how like, Yang wants to do. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 that'd be bad. We all, you know, eat the same amount of food, and it's all controlled by someone we're supposed to trust. And you think they're living the same way? I don't want food to be limited to whatever I think you need. What? That's not even nutritionally sound. What I want is for you to be able to walk into a grocery store, go to the produce section, and pick what you want for your family. Who's hoarding that? Who would hoard that? There's, there's not a. That's not a thing. Only leftists can get tendies. I, go eat tendies. I don't care. I'm fine with you eating tendies. <laughs> I have no idea. I, I think some people thought processes. Uh, then I'll be on the bottom and won't be able to look down and be. I mean, I mean, it is sort of a a stratification thing. Uh, there's a societal phenomenon um, that happens. Uh, if you think less than a certain amount, you should. Uh, you be at, what? I think if you less than a certain amount, you should UBI. UBI, UBI doesn't address problems. UBI is good in tandem with other things. UBI, if you just put UBI into our system, people will just vulture that. It's not good. It doesn't help anybody. It might feel better for very, very poor people for a short period of time, but they will just find ways to siphon specifically capital out of those communities pretty quickly. It's not, I mean, it wouldn't take, it wouldn't take much at all. Um, resources, I was hoarding racehorses. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, we don't have rent control and you aren't allowed to make over 2K with SSI, SSD. Yeah, stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Um, I don't know that rent would go up by $2,000, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if many things went up by a lot. Um, yeah. UBI is slapping a band-aid on a terminal wound. I actually don't know if UBI even is a band-aid. I, I, I feel like I feel like UBI again, UBI works in tandem with other things. UBI plus the things that I want. So so decom well, and we didn't add the survival necessities. Specifically, the big one is is housing. Uh so decommodify survival necessities with a focus on housing. Decommodify healthcare, decommodify education, the and get UBI. That's fine. Yeah, UBI in tandem with those would actually be the ideal system uh, for a market socialist um, sort of. It wouldn't even be market socialism. It would be like it'd be like <laughs> capital socialists. I mean, it really would just be that because you, you'd have a portion. Your survival needs would be met. You would have a minimal amount of income to, to provide you with some sort of like financial incentive to to engage in the capitalism of the United States and abroad. Um, but it wouldn't be enough to like, you know, excel and get things. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's it's. Uh, I like the idea of UBI, but is it really necessary if you've made it possible to survive? For, well, so, yeah, because survival is not the only thing we need, right? Like, if you're happy with just surviving, that's fine. Uh, but I beg 
I, I, I beg to differ that that is the case. Uh, you are here right now. You know what I'm saying? Entertainment, for instance. Even though this is free, you know what I mean? It's mostly free. You, know, you pay an internet bill or whatever, but I think internet should be free. Um, it's, a, it's, it's, I mean, just like water um, at this point. It's not just like water, but, you know, I think it's as important for our society as um, running water and plumbing and trash pickup, stuff like that, where it's, it's like, pretty integral to our society. And if you disagree with that, wow. Um, which I don't think anybody here does, but, um, yeah, I, I just don't think, uh, I, I just don't think, um, you know, you can put UBI in, in there and, and have it fix capitalism. It will actually just make it worse. It sounds cool initially, but, you know, you'd have to freeze prices across the market and then capitalists would not like that. It just doesn't help capitalism. What does help capitalism is allowing the consumer base to have more money. So if you like capitalism, you want the consumers to have more money. I, 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 <laughs> silly. It's amazing that they're clamoring for this stuff, but it's no surprise because when I saw that this show was trending, I said, okay, there's got to be an agenda behind it, right? You know, you see the masks with the pyramids and all that, the signs and symbols, right? So you know who's behind it. But if it's trending number one and you're being told it's going to be the most popular series on Netflix, which means like it's more popular than The Irishman, you know, some of these movies that have come out with like De Niro and all these other. The Irishman's not very good. The guys are strange. Also, th- that came out like last year. Like, what? Why, why would people still be watching The Irishman? This just came out. Your things that they Stranger want. Your things isn't out yet. Everyone to tune into this so they can teach them about the evils of capitalism because now is the time they're destroying the economy and they can reset and capitalism will be gone. It'll be socialism. Do you think? What is he? Does he think socialism just happens? What does that even mean? <laughs> so the wealth of the planet's billionaires, according to this article, grew by 54% or $4 trillion in the U.S. during, the, during this outbreak. <laughs> Give me a break. Meanwhile, the unemployment rate, you know, we're, the people who are paying the unemployment are, are, you know, all the other people who are paying taxes are paying the unemployment and they're making more money on unemployment than they would if they were actually working at their jobs. How does he not see this as a failing of capitalism? I, I actually I actually don't understand how you don't see... Wait, when they actually labor, they make less money than when they don't labor. How is that an advocation for capitalism? It's actually fucking wild to me. It's... <laughs> because <laughs> obviously the 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 point he's trying to make is that our our uh, social safety net is too robust um uh, i don't know that he would use the word robust but you know uh he would say that oh they make too much money on unemployment uh you need to incentivize labor by lowering that it's like why not incentivize labor by paying them a more fair share for their labor Do you not like making more money? Because jobs. But they need the labor. They can't have their business without jobs. Do you think maybe they could take a pay cut? No, because they need to make jobs. Do you think that people that make jobs are like... Like... I don't know. Do you think, do you think that's a right they have? To have a business? Or do you think that that's a privilege? You know what I'm saying? Huh. What are these people just bestowed with, with like, well, this business exists, therefore it cannot fail. But I thought we liked the free market. Do you know that labor is part of the market, right? And the labor market, like, you have to bid on labor. Sorry about it, dude. That's what That's what wages are. They're bids on your labor. And if you don't come across as financially beneficial, then fuck off. It's just so weird. What if that one dude, Dan Price, makes it work under capitalism, though uh, he takes cut of his own salary? For, it's not even a cut of his own salary. He doesn't consider it his salary. If you work in Dan Price's uh, uh, company, you make, I think, minimum $75,000 a year or something like that. And then, and then yeah. He shares the the profit. In fact, they get bonuses when they do better um, every year. So, yeah, it's just wild. 
Dan Price is a bit shady, though, right? I mean, I haven't seen anything shady about him, but I mean, I don't, I'm sh- he's 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 a business owner. I don't know, but uh, it's it's irrelevant whether he's a little shady, because that's a that's a good business model. <laughs> My dad's argument. Oh boy, bring your dad to school. Um, if the minimum wage goes up, everyone's hours will be cut and people lose jobs. Okay, so here's the counter argument to that, Dad. Who is going to go to their business to spend money at the business if they don't pay anybody to spend money there? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't have a consumer base if no no consumers are making money under under capital. It doesn't make any sense. So there's nobody buying your stuff because you refuse to pay them. So fucking die then. Your business will die. That's just what happens. <laughs> Who would make the products? Exactly. So you can't... like. It's a it's a symbiotic relationship that business owners for a long time have not understood. And obviously capitalists don't understand it. Because they're stupid. Instead of maximizing capital for just businesses, maximizing capital for the workers that operate the business as well seems to be the better way to go about that. Why would employers pay more money to keep employees that they don't need? What do you mean that they don't need? They clearly need them. We're at a labor shortage right now. That's not even like a thing. Employers do do need them. So I like you <laughs> Yeah. It's just a, it's just a silly way to frame the question cuz cuz like they do need them. It's not there isn't a situation where where companies don't need employees. So, yeah, they do. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, they hire exactly as many workers as they need. Yeah, and they need, like, bodies to do this stuff, too. It's not just, like, one person can get paid a bunch to do something rather than spending, spending you know, the same or double the wages on two people. It's because you can't be as productive as multiple people. So, um, yeah, they hire what they need to save cost. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> Uh, Henry Ford, as garbage as he was, spoke uh, specifically about uh, making sure employees could afford his product. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. We're not saying different things, Morgan. I just don't think you're understanding what's being said. Um, Many are trying to move towards that with automation, though. Yeah, but what are you going to automate? If the factory workers that make the things, like... Uh, at, you can automate, but who works in the automation factories that create the things that are automated? It doesn't just move itself, um, so it just doesn't. It just doesn't make any sense. It's just not. A, it's just not smart. <laughs> so it gives them no incentive to work, and this is exactly what they want. And then they, you know, they don't. Three talk- D printers. Who makes the three D printers? Right. With the way the automation doesn't reduce jobs, change, uh, it does both. It does reduce jobs. It depends. It depends on the thing, but yes. Economy is and the way the wealth is set up. They don't talk about why. But automation doesn't just so many people happen. People make automation occur. Uh, employers do keep employees that they do not need uh, when they create some high executive jobs for their friends. Well, sure. Or out of jobs money. because of the magic potion or any of that stuff. It's just, oh, you know, it's just, it's laughable. It's laughable. So this is propaganda being used to destroy capitalism. Should it surprise anyone? No, it should not. Do you think that capitalism is a terribly robust system that's capable of defending itself? Like, if capitalism is in fact this the like the best method to to move forward, wouldn't Squid Game be unable to to like poke holes in it? It's just Squid Game. You know what I mean? Like, it's interesting. This is the same thing that happens with like Christians. It's it's not different. I know they call us a Christian as well, but like, I, like it just doesn't. It's the same logic. Like, like, oh, don't speak ill of God. It's like, do you think God can fucking handle a little scrutiny from time to time? If not, why does he make me scrutinous? <laughs> if if capitalism is the best, then why are there so many problems? And then why do I have solutions to these problems that would work with, while still being capitalist? Uh, uh, but you refuse them because it's not m- more cap. Like it doesn't make any sense. 
She could suffer. I mean, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't seem to 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 make uh, uh, any sort of logical. Um, uh, 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 like the puzzle pieces don't fit here. They tell you it's number one, so you go and watch it. And you know the ones who are going to go and watch it are teenagers and people in their young 20s and people who pretend that their avatars are their real or who they are. And then they go to festivals trying to uh, get down and dirty with people who dress up in costumes like other cartoon characters. In other words, pointless, Mm -hmm. worthless human beings on this earth who aren't even human who are trying to destroy everything (laughs) and are going to welcome in a new world order as long as they could play their video games and... um, you don't hurt their feelings. What's he talking about? Did you talk about going going to like a con, like Comic Con, and cosplaying in your in your sexy Star uh, Star Wars outfit and fucking there and then playing video games? Huh. So when when Call is is talk just when Call talks to somebody. He's scared of furries. Was that about furries specifically? Um, <laughs> I'm not a furry. Uh, all right, big time, big time, texty boy. Um, so, if he were to ask me what I want out of life, do you think that I would end up saying that I want to just fuck at Comic Con and play video games? Because I'm not opposed to either of those things. That's not, like, what I, like, truly want in general. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want everybody to have a good quality of life. Like, that's it. I'm furry-ish. Your name's Horse Lord. You're a furry. It's okay. Why don't you just... T- Can we stop pretending you're not furries when you're furries, guys? There's a couple of you that are out here that just don't pretend that you... Stop it. Just be a furry. Be, be what you like. I don't care. Enjoy what you enjoy. Just, like, get up in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm a furry. There you go. Furries, enjoy yourselves. I'm not one. I don't get it, but I, I'm I'm glad that you're all having a good time. And that's all I really care about. As long as you're not hurting other people, by call me out. Because you need it. Because you absolutely need to be called out. Like your stuff unapologetically. You are valid in liking your things. <laughs> Just wild. Wild stuff. Pretty sure you're specifically referring to Soros. Soros is a VTuber person, though. Uh, Soros, I guess it's Polly. Maybe that's it. And likes video I guess, who doesn't like, who doesn't like at least one of those three things? <laughs> video games, fucking, uh, uh, and, in, and enjoying something specific. I don't really love hearing furries tell about their fursonas. Well, there you go. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Calls in Uber Square? I, I don't know. <laughs> call call thinks Cirrus is a furry because of the avatar. Huh. Does Cirrus identify as a furry? Well, this is the NWO. So capitalism, destruction, what it's all about. So what I've been talking about a lot lately. Because so. you need to know that because it's going to affect you. This is how they're going to enslave society. Yeah, I've talked to Cirrus many times, uh, and I have never heard him say that. Whether you agree or not with capital, I mean, it's just the way it is. You know, it, it's the way it's the world we grew up in. But did he just say agree or not with Catboy? Is that what it was? A, t- a period where you know we're we're all working the same hours, doing the same thing, and making the same money, and eating the same am- portions of food. Why does he think that's what socialism is? Who told him that? Who told him that's what socialism is? We eat, we work the same exact hours in the same exact job, which, what what would that be? Like, what? What's the one job we could all do? Like, uh, (laughs) Crowder? Crowder, I don't even think he would say this. Uh, There's one job, you eat one thing in the same amount every day, and that's just how we want to live. Does he think people actually want that? That's not a thing. No one has ever advocated for that system. Like, I genuinely can't think of even the most radical, like, I'm a fucking super communist. N- never happened. No monks. Nope. Monks don't want that either. Sounds pretty r- right wing to me. Like, it's just not a thing. I don't really know what that would be. Do we get pizza? No! 
We get freedom fries. If you think that's a better for society and humanity, you are out of your mind. You are out of your mind because that's them feeding you the Soylent Green. What? That's you being totally enslaved. And this is because we live in a lazy, pathetic society <laughs> where you allow a certain group of people to gain some type of control over speech and everything else. What? So that they can usher this in. And we have the weak people out there begging for us. It's just so interesting. You used to religiously watch Crowder? Huh. That's pretty bad. Um, Soylent Green. Well, that's from a movie. Uh, the Soylent Green stuff. Soylent Green is people! Um... I don't, huh? Is he criticizing or defending capitalism? Not sure. Well, he doesn't fucking, all of his problems with socialism, besides this weird made-up thing, are problems with capitalism that he has. So it's it's interesting. Um, Koreans are like seventy percent college educated. Yeah, Soylent Green's literally people. Yeah. So shows like this are the reason behind why we're going to see a destruction of capitalism because people are going to see it think it's big and bad and say we need equality just like you heard the women crying for equality the sports figures you know like this illusion that there isn't equality i can't play that girl meets world clip on it's pretty hilarious it really is there's <laughs> i can't say more than that Reminder, check out the website at callfornuprising.com. It's $2.99 a month. Let me know if you've seen the show, if there's anything else in there that I should check out. Cool. Obviously, I... All right. Um, so that's call. That's that's call. Uh, <laughs> thank you for your work, call.